If you want to create a quick survey or get responses from people all around the globe, or maybe you are just running a personal project and you need feedback on your project, you can quickly create a Microsoft form and share a link with all these people. They can quickly fill it up and you will receive responses like you can see in my case. Um, so to do that, you need to have a Microsoft Outlook account. So you would go to Microsoft Outlook and get an account. Once you are done, um, you can log into office.com with your Microsoft Outlook account. And when you are here, you just need to type forms, you know, in the search or click here and you would find forms as part of the applications. So once you have forms, you can quickly click on new form to create a new form. So in this case, I have certain fields that I need to get from users um, who are paying utility bill in my apartment. So I would say apartment water bill or utility bill. So apartment water bill. And by this, I can quickly start, you know, um, putting in all the fields that I need people to fill up on. So we will begin with full name. So I'll just click add new and I'll look for test because I want people to tell me their full name. So I'll say um, full name. And then I'll create another one. Remember, I've just you know, put together all that I need here. So mobile money number, payment reference, and the month. So I'll quickly do this. I'll say that I need your mobile money number. I also need the months you are paying for. So in this case, it looks like I need something like a drop down, right? Or a select option. Um, so with this, I'm going to say um, select months you are paying for. Okay, so months you are paying for, right? So I'll just quickly come here and I'll say select the month you are paying for. And over here, I think I would want you to be like a drop down. So I'll click on this um, icon, the three dots here, and I'll click on drop down. And then I'll just put that my first option should be January, February. Um, I'll add another one for March. And then I can do the same thing for April and so much more. Okay. And the last thing I would also want or another thing I would need to take from the user is the, you know, the payment reference they are using. So in this case, I'm just going to say that I want the payment reference because I've created some uh, fields already. It's showing up here, but because this is a tutorial, I'll still just go ahead and say that I want reference. Um, note or payment reference i think that should be fine so payment reference used and by this i think i'm almost true so i'll just say that the person should tell me the date they made the payment for so um so here I'll just say date you made payment. And with this, I'm done creating my Microsoft forms. People can quickly fill up this once they are done, you know, sending payment to my mobile money number. I will look for a very new template or cool template here. So see more styles. Let's see which template style would I want. I can view a lot. There should be a lot of template styles that are here for me. And so I can click on any of this and they will just do a very good work for me. So right here, I can see a couple of them here, right? Um, so once I'm done selecting how I want my form to look, I'm done. I'm done building my Microsoft forms. I can start collecting responses. So I'll click on collect response. And you see a link has been generated over here. So I can copy the link and I can also say, please shorten this link for me. So I'll copy this link. 
and I can share this link with each and everyone. I want them to have access to these forms and give me their feedback. Um, one response per person, you can just limit it, but then that means that I will tell people that, hey, you are required to sign in before. And if this is for your organization, then people will be required to sign in. Since anyone can respond to this globally, I would want to choose this one. And also I can generate a QR code and let people just scan this maybe in our apartments so that whenever they need to send what have you, they should be able to just send, uh, scan this and send it to us, right? Um, or I can actually embed this in um, a web page, anything at all you can do with Microsoft Forms, right? Or I can send an invite to people's email. Now that I'm done with what I want, I'm just going to click here. Let me download this. Um, so once I download this, I can then scan from my phone and then make payments. Okay, you can even do this right now. Just scan and um, tell me how much you paid. You don't need to really, really like pay. Okay, so yeah. Um, I'll then click to close here because um, I'm collecting responses and then I have a link that people can start sending, you know, um, every information to. And so I'm just going to come here and then I'll paste the link and I'll start filling the form. So here I'm going to say that my name is Dauda Idrisu and my mobile money number is something, right? Zero five four something, something, something and something, right? And I would select that it was February. I realized I, you know, misspelled January here but I'm paying for February bill. And the reference I use is Dauda um, February payment. Okay, and then the next thing I would do is to select the date I made payments. So I paid today, which is 26th of the month, and I click on submit. Once I click on submit, um, the form organizer or the owner of the form is going to receive responses that have submitted uh, my response. So let's go to the apartment water bill. Over here, you can see one response is already in here. And when I view the results, I can see that Dauda made payments. I can also download this entire um, response that comes in in an uh, Microsoft Excel, you know, file. And I can then, you know, do even more by clicking on these three dots in the, um, the right top corner of my screen, just below my profile. You can see I can click here and say collaborate or duplicate. So I can ask someone to collaborate on this form with me, right? So all I need to do is to add a collaborator or I need to either share a link with that particular collaborator. So I can copy the link and share the link to the collaborator. Okay, um, so that's more about it in Microsoft Forms. Here, we simply designed Microsoft Form um, for our, our you know, apartment utility bill payment. Once again, if you are creating a survey or you want to take information for your personal project, Microsoft Forms is your go-to.